Hey everybody, welcome back to Nick's Shooting Channel. Today we have my uh, CMMG MK9T and you can check out the uh, at the range and the bar top review of this firearm on the YouTube channel. I'll put up some links. And I actually got a request today to do a cleaning video, how to clean this firearm. It's pretty simple, so I'll do that. Uh, before we get into this uh, specific firearm, just a few tools I'll, I'll use. Um, I use Ballastol oil. Um, we have a boar snake here. So, uh, yeah, boar snake. Um, we have some, uh, you know, some cotton swabs here. Um, brush. Some uh, gun cleaning patches. And uh, I always use latex gloves or uh, vinyl gloves. Um, a lot of people don't. Uh, just a note, a lot of these products, I have links on www.nickshootingchannel.com. And uh, they're actually just links to Amazon.com, so if you have an Amazon account, um, you can click on there. So with that, let's get to cleaning this uh, CMMG MK9T. All right, welcome back here. First thing we're going to do is a safety check and make sure the chamber's empty, which it is, and there's no magazine. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to uh, just push these two pins like you would on any AR-15. And I'm going to come around to the other side here and just pull these out. And when I pull those out, our uh, lower receiver, or lower half, is just going to go right here. We're going to set that to the side. We're going to take our charging handle, pull this out with the bolt. Set those down. And we're just going to take some of this ballast stall here and just spray it down the barrel. And then spray a little uh, just inside here. And we're just going to set this to the side for now. So the first thing I like to do is just take this bolt here and with some, uh, let me set this over so you can get this out of the way. We'll just take some of our patches here and we'll just spray a little ballast saw on there. We'll just wipe this bolt down. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see um, we're getting a little residue gunpowder or whatever. So we don't want to get it too much. Um, you don't want to gob down there, but just, uh, just a little bit. Uh, if you want, you can take some of these cotton swabs and well, oh, don't want to push too hard and break them, but just uh, real gently here. Um, the, some of the areas you can't get to with the with the uh, the uh, cleaning pad, just get in there and uh, clean it out. And you can see how dirty that that is. So I'm um, just getting some of that gunpowder off and uh, spent carbon, whatever. So. Um, these are kind of cheap to keep breaking on me. Once that's done, you can just uh, wipe off some of the excess, some of the excess oil. I'm just doing this real quick here today for the video to try to shorten the video up. But um, you know, you can take your time and, and get it clean. You want to get a, a you know a nice coat on there, get all the carbon and, and spent gunpowder off, but you don't want to leave like gobs of oil on there. So we'll get uh, nice where the firing pin's at here. Just get that real nice and uh, nice and clean. So when that's done, um, you're just going to get this area in here. You can see right now that's a little oily. Same thing with, with our patches here. We're just going to go in there and um, we're going to just uh, wipe this down. Get as much of that powder out of there as you can. Um, you might want to, if you can't get your finger in there, you can use a stick or whatever and just uh, kind of get that, get that out of there. So... Um, yeah, there you go. You can see I'm going to get right down here in the little groove where the charging handle goes. And uh, just get, get some of that oil out. And when I get these out here, you'll see, um, you'll see, you know, you can see just how dirty these get. So um, I'm going to take a couple more of these swabs. These are cheap. I buy them by a thousand. Just get in there, you know, in some of these hard to reach places and just, uh, you know, get clean what you can. Again, you want to get it, you know, oil, but you don't want to leave leave gobs of oil in there. Um, yeah, and I, I say in some of my other cleaning videos, which you can check out if you want, this is how I, I clean my firearms. It seems to work for me. Um, is it the only way or the best way? I don't know. Um, I'm sure other people have different methods. They use different materials. Um, everyone seems to have their own unique way of doing it, but... Um, 
you know, this is what works for me. I've had no no issues. Um, I like the ballast stall because if you look at it, it, it it's a non-carcinogen, so that may not matter to some people. But if you read a lot of gun gun cleaning uh, materials, they're pretty nasty for your health. So um, you know, uh, every little bit helps. Um, you already spent enough time breathing lead and gunpowder and stuff if you shoot firearms, so um, no need to add on to that. So anyway, where you get this all cleaned out, where your uh, where your bolt slides. Um, if you remember, I sprayed some ballast stall in the beginning down the, the bore. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this bore snake here and we'll just uh, run this right down right down the bore. This might get out of the camera here for a second, but let's... Uh, you can see this comes down the end and then we'll just take this and we'll just pull this bore snake through. And you can see here's the, uh, the bristles, the metal bristles. And then it just kind of will get some of that oil out. Um, the bristles hopefully get some of the gunpowder done. Run this through one more time. And we'll go one more time just for good, good measure. There you go. See, uh, some people say using the actual rod's a little bit better, but anyway, I always use a bore snake. It's a pretty easy process. Um, the last thing you may want to do, depending on how much you, you've been shooting, is just uh, this little bird cage here at the end. Just kind of uh, wipe this out. And you can kind of get into each one of these grooves. Just use one of your uh, cotton swab deals. You can see that's not too dirty. And then uh, finally, here I'll take another one, put just a, a, a pinch of ballast all on there, and uh, just wipe down what I can see. If you want, you can get fancy and uh, take the handguard off and, and, and clean clean all under there. But usually, what I'll do is just uh, light cut coat of oil to what I can get to. Um, I find if you clean, you know, every time you shoot, stuff doesn't tend to build up, and you you it's not too bad to clean. And then uh, take a couple more patches and just uh, some dry patches and we'll just uh, wipe off any of this excess oil that I have. And again, this is just uh, quick for the video purposes. You may want to spend a little more time getting a little bit more of the residue off um, when you're actually cleaning it. But um, yeah, this is just what I do. So now we're going to put this uh, back together. Um, I'm going to take our, our charging handle and just slide this in here like that. We will take our bolt and we'll uh, put that right in. And then we're just going to push the whole thing forward, click it into place. And, uh, you know, I forgot to, to mention on the lower um, half, um, you can clean this out. This doesn't usually get too dirty, but if you want to uh, clean out here, um, you know, get some of the carbon off. If you want to clean in where your magazine weld is, um, you can do that. Um, again, I just have some light ballast oil on these these pads, and then uh, your hammer here. But you know, usually I don't spend too much time on this. Just uh, a little bit of the carbon. If you see it, this doesn't tend to get too dirty. Um, you know, um, so yeah, you can clean this lower half, uh, but it, it's it's not not. Not too dirty usually, so just anywhere where you can see any of that spent gunpowder or carbon, clean that and you should be all set. So when we have this this uh, done, you're just going to put these right back, it should just slide right back into place. Um, you can go to this other side, push your two pins in, um, pin one and pin two. And then usually at this point I'll take my gloves off, um, I might grab some blue shop towels and just uh, anywhere where I got some of this extra oil, just give it a real gentle uh, rub down. You know, real light. Um, you can see I got a little extra oil here. And then with this, we'll just uh, pull the charging handle a couple times. Make sure everything's 
everything's good. And uh, there you have it. That's uh, that's cleaning the CMMG MK9T. Hopefully uh, this video was uh, informative and not too quick for you. And as always, I appreciate you watching the uh, Nick Shooting Channel. I always enjoy comments or likes. And uh, please feel free to subscribe and share. Thanks a lot and have a good day.